So Sons of the Forest has a soft locking problem. If someone on your server beats the game without you, then you are unable to ever beat it. Normally, if someone beats it and you are not there, and if you go through the Hell Cave at the end, you are met by this wall with rocks in the way. You are not allowed to get through. So if you started a world with your friend and he went ahead and beat it without you, then you are just out of luck. Or if you join a friend's world and they have 100 hours in the world and they already beat the game, then you are not able to beat the game. No ending for you. You are stuck in this cave. You're able to leave the cave the long way, but you cannot beat the game. What this video will do is show you how to first get rid of the rocks, because normally after the game is beaten, there's rocks in the way, okay? So you can never get through. I will show you how to get rid of those rocks, and I will show you how to beat the game multiple times, because right now, as you can see, I beat the game already, and there is no prompt for me to beat it again, okay? We are going to reset the flags for the story progression points. So everybody's inventory will stay the exact same what they have. Their level, so in this case, I have a strength level of 56, I will stay at 56. All of these structures that we built will still be there as well. The only things we are going to reset is the story progressions, okay? So your your friends who have the key cards, they're able to reopen the bunkers that are now going to be locked. Okay? And they're able to rebeat the game. So what we are going to do, um, first here, I'm going to close this game. So I'm just going to Alt F4 out, okay? It's closed. Here's the server where I host this world, okay? I'm going to turn the server off. Boom, it's, it's dead now. Now, I am the host of that world. I am on the computer that the world is being hosted on. These first couple of steps, everyone can follow. And then I'll show the differences, okay? So you're going to go to your, you know, this PC, your C drive, users, click on the name of the computer. So in this case, it's Plex server. Um, I'm on Windows 11. You have to first sh um, show hidden files and then click on app data, then local low, then end night, then sons of the forest, and then saves. Okay, dedicated server. Um, so if you were to follow this on your end, as if, let's say you join your friends, right? And you follow the exact same steps. Let me pull this over here so it's a little easier to tell. There we go. Uh, your difference will be, you'll go to local low, end night, sons of the forest, saves, and then it's a long string of random numbers. Okay, so if I go to saves, look at this long string of random numbers. Okay, so we have dedicated server on the left. This is if I'm hosting the world. And if you are joining a world, it's here on the right. So if you're hosting the world and you want to reset the story progression flags, this is what you're going to do. We're going to go to multiplayer. Hopefully, if you're the host, you know which world is yours. Okay. If not, uh, jump in the game and just save and then look at the date modified, okay? So this is my world right here. And this is the save data that the game has, okay? So this is my entire world for that game. And then I already made a backup up here, okay? So make a backup of this file. Just, you know, scroll, you know, copy, paste it, and then just rename it backup or whatever. Okay. So open up save data. And we are going to see game state save data, okay? There's a lot of information in this folder or in this file. And what we are going to do is uh, reset this to it's pretty much a brand new fresh game, okay? Let me see, yep, okay. So where do you get that brand new fresh data? Well, right here, I will be saving this document and I'll probably upload it to, uh, I don't know, uh, the link will be down below, okay? So what we are going to do is take all of this data and just 
Paste in the new stuff, okay? Oh, not yet. <laughs> My bad, we need some information first. So let me open up a new document. Okay, here we go. So we have the new stuff on the right, old stuff that we're going to delete on the left, okay? So on the new one, if you're reading through, you read through right here, um, game ID, and I have lots of X's right there, okay? So what you want to do is come to your world, you'll see game ID and a long string of numbers and letters. Copy all of that and paste it in the new one. Paste, see that? Uh, game days, I have 162, 162 days, so I want to keep that the same. So I'm going to copy that over. And of course, you could edit that however you want, you know? Uh, same with hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. So you could change that however, however you want. Then we have crash site. In this case, the crash site for this world is the ocean. So I'm just going to copy ocean and put it in there, okay? So this is all the information I want. I'm going to copy it. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to paste it over here, okay? Remember, this is in the multiplayer save data, okay? So I'm going to hit save as. I'm save it right in here, okay? So it's easier to find. There we go. The name has to be the same. So game, state, save data. And it's going to be a text document. At the end of the data right there, we need to do dot json. It needs to be a json file, okay? So let's save that. Close that. We don't need any more. And here it is. This is the new file we need. I'm going to drop it right in save data. Watch this. Don't worry, it's not going to harm you. Copy and replace. Okay. I delete that. I don't need any more. Okay. So now if you were to launch the game, the rocks at the end are now gone. Okay. Um, all the bunkers are now locked. If you want to get to the final boss area, like we were just in there, you have to go to one of the other bunkers and hit a button to open the bunker door. Okay. So all of that gets reset. Remember, you still have all of your badges if you had it before. Okay. So all the doors, you can just go and open right on up, okay? But now let's say you already beat the game before, or you you, know, you already beat the game before, but now you want to do it again. How do you do that? So this is the host computer, right? This is hosting the game. So I'm going to minimize that because I don't need any more, okay? So now we're back in the area of where you join. Uh, so remember, it's Sons of the Forest, saves, a long string of numbers. Now we're in here. So what we are going to do is go to Multiplayer Client. That This is the one where you join worlds, right? So you have your single player world. This is if you join worlds. This is if you host worlds, okay? So if you host the world, um, you would do a, everything we just did in, in this save data, right? So this is my personal on my personal computer right here okay so let's go to multiplayer client and let's say you join a lot of friends right you have this folder filled with worlds which one do you need to edit to reset your own flags well what you do is go into that world and save and the moment you save the date modified file will be updated okay so I know this is the file I need to edit because I saved at one o'clock and here it is, it was last updated at one o'clock today, okay? So we're going in there. Remember, make a backup, sorry I did. I'm gonna open up save data, okay? And this time we are going to edit the player state save data file, okay? So this is the one we're gonna edit right here. If we go to the very bottom, we are going to see bunker luxury dot cutscene dot chopper exit and then save value of one now you might be able to just get rid of that one you know delete or set to zero i'm not sure okay so i'm just going to show you the way i know how to fix this what i'm going to do is after that one at the very end i, I really hope you can see this on your screen i'm going to copy the one or i'm going to start my copy after the once for the bracket and we're gonna start going, okay? I'm going, there's more save value of one for buck, bunker luxury cutscene, get to the chopster. Keep going. 
We're going. I see Bucker. Luxury cutscene, gold room. I'm gonna keep going. Keep going. Bunker residential cutscene, get down sun. Keep going. Keep going. Bunker luxury cutscene, mutant boss intro. Now, I just want to be able to beat the game again, right? I'm in that last little cave. I just want to go through the wall. Okay, that's where I'm stuck. So what I'm going to do is keep cutscene, mutant boss intro because I beat that demon at the end, right? He's he's dead. So I'm going to back up a little bit. I want to keep all the information. And I see a comma right before, right after the, it says one, uh, curly bracket, comma. I'm going to highlight all the way to the bracket or to the comma. Hit delete. Okay. So now the very last bit says boss intro slash quote, comma, slash, quote, save value, slash, quote, colon, one, squiggly bracket, bracket, squiggly bracket, quote, squiggly, squiggly. That was a mouthful right there. But that's the end, okay? Um, so I'm going to save as. Um, I need to get back to that right folder. Let me, uh, right here. This is where I need to save it, okay? So we are going to save in there. Uh, you know, in the, the same multiplayer, you know, where save data folder is, right? It's called player state save data. We're going to put dot JSON like before and hit save. Okay. So here it is. This is the new document we just saved. So if we open it up, we'll see, yep, uh, mutant boss intro. That's all still there, right? I'm going to grab it and just drop it and save data. So now it's in there. So now, even though I beat the game before, I should be able to beat it again, okay? So let me relaunch the server and I will um, show you the cave when we're back in there. Okay, so here we are. We are finishing the load-in. If before you saw rocks at the very end in the cave, they should now be gone. And now, if you were not able to beat it, you are now able to exit through and beat the game. So this is going to work if you got one particular exit and you wanted to beat it again. You don't get the opposite achievement. Or if you beat the world with Kelvin and Virginia alive and you needed to get the opposite achievements, well, now you're able to just walk on in and get the other achievements. So I hope this helped and I hope you have a good day.